Hey guys and welcome to this video, today I want to show you the best graphics pack for DaVinci Resolve by MotionCan. So this video is sponsored, but if this pack was trash I wouldn't show it to you. This means I'm really impressed by this pack and now I will show you how it works. And yeah, the entire coffee edit is made with this pack, so let's start. So if you want to download this pack, first of all you have to click on the first link in the description. So if you want to download this pack, you have two options. The first option is the regular license. So with this license you can use the elements and transitions for your videos. And with the extended one you can use it for commercial purposes. Alright, after you have downloaded and extracted this file, you should see these files. Now open the readme file. And then open this link. This video is also linked in the description and you just have to follow the instructions of the video. So after you've done this, just open DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, I am in the edit page and now you just have to open the effects tab. Then go to titles. Then open Toco graphics. And as you can see, we got over 16 different categories of elements and effects. Okay, so let's start with the first category, the typography category. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So as you can see, we got many, many typography elements. So we just drag and drop one of them into the timeline. So now you can see how it looks like. So as you can see, this is a live stream typography. So I want to change the color of this text. So I just have to left click the typography element and then you have to go into the inspector. Now you can here change the text or change the color and you also got some extra controls. So I want to change the text to coffee, add. Also I want to change the font and I want to change the size of the text. Okay, now let's close this tab and I also want to change the color of the coffee. So I open this tab and I change the color of this coffee. So let's change this to brown or orange. Let's go. And I also want to see the video in the background a little bit. So I just go to main settings and I decrease the background opacity. And as you can see, now it looks like this. And now I want to add another one. So I just look which looks dope. So this is very colorful. Maybe this one. Okay, this is for quotes. And some of them aren't visible. So just try to import them into the timeline. Then open the text field and I often got this issue so if your font is April Fatface then you just have to click into this field and then choose your font so then it works. But if the font is only April Fatface without something in this field then it won't work and I don't know why. Maybe I just downloaded something wrong or I don't know. So if this typography is only black and you can't see how it looks like in the preview then mostly there are some errors with the font type so you just have to change the font type and then it should work. So as you can see, now it works. All right, so if you want to buy this pack, you got many, many typographies. So especially for YouTube videos, for vlogs or for product videos, these elements are very, very nice. And all of them are very easy to use and they are very handy. So you just have to drag and drop them into the timeline and then you can adjust them in the inspector. So let's move on to the backgrounds. So you get over 60 backgrounds with this pack. So some of them look like this one. So you can stretch them as long as you want and they will still play at the end of the video. So most of the background nodes are liquid backgrounds. So as you can see, they look like this. So very colorful, very much shapes. But honestly, I don't know for which type of video I would use these effects. But maybe you will have some use cases for these type of backgrounds. I also want to mention that there are some special backgrounds, like the background 7 to 10. So I just want to show the 7. So as you can see, the background 7 is a flying text box background. And you can change the text, you can change the color, you can also change the settings of the box. So this could also be very useful for some music videos, I guess. And for me, this type of effect is really nice because you can use it in many different videos like music videos or ad videos or YouTube videos. So you can get really creative with this pack and you can use this graphics pack for many different video styles. So that's really nice. Okay, let's continue with the next category, the social media category. So here you got a lot of social media elements and backgrounds. So I really like this category because there are many many infographs for YouTube videos or for brands. Also it's very handy and easy to use so you just have to drag and drop it into the timeline and then go into the inspector. And here you can change the main settings so for example I just want to increase the maximum of the comments. So I just 
increase the number. And it looks nice and smooth and very professional. And there's also some stuff from Instagram. You also got some infographs and that's very nice for YouTube videos, for brand videos, for product videos. And as you can see, there are many, many very nice and professional looking motion graphics. But especially for advertisement videos or YouTube videos, these motion graphics are very useful, I guess. And as you can see, you can adjust like everything of this. So you can go to the text, you can change it. And as you can see, the box size is also increasing and changing by changing the text. So you don't have to do it for yourself. And you can adjust like everything of this. So there's many space for creativity. But for now, I want to show you a nice use case. So I drag them to the right. And I search for a nice social media background, like, like this one. So I drag and drop it into the timeline. I cut my clip right here. And I press Alt and the left mouse button and I drag it up here. Then go with this clip into Fusion. And now I want to mask out this person. So if you have the studio version, you can use the magic mask. And if you don't use the studio version, then you can use runwayml.com. So in my case, I will use the magic mask and I press Shift and Space by the same time and search for magic mask. Then I select magic mask and press add. Now I just draw a shape around my person. And I adjust the mask. And I press the track forward button and I wait. So the mask is done and it's not perfect, but that's okay. So let's go back to the edit page. And now you can see that the effect looks like this. And you can also use this type of elements for a second use case. So for example, I drag and drop this element into the timeline. And in this case, I want to track the data on top of her head. And the scene ends here at this frame. So I decrease the element to the scene length. And then I cut the scene and I select both of them. I press right click and I select new fusion clip. Then I go into fusion. And now I want to know which one is our element and which is our scene. So media in one is our scene and media in two is our element. So first of all, I need media in one. So I press shift and space by the same time and I search for planar tracker. Select planar tracker and press add. Now I deselect this arrow. Then I draw a mask around this person. Then I just draw a mask around the person's head. Then I press set at reference time and I change the motion type from perspective to translation. Then I hit this button and I go back to my reference time frame and I hit this button. Okay, so the tracker data looks fine. So I create a planar transform node and I drag this planar transform node between the merge one node and the media and two node. After that, I drag and drop a transform node between the media and two node and the planar transform node. Then I go into the inspector of the transform node and I decrease the size and I change the X and Y center. Also, I create some keyframes so it looks better. So, and now it looks like this. Okay, let's move on to the titles. So as you can see, you've got many, many titles, over 70 different titles. And yeah, as you can see, they are all animated. So it looks very professional for me and it looks very dope for me. So you can use them for YouTube videos, for advertisement videos. Also, you got over 50 lower third titles. So most of them look very dope, look very nice and professional. There are also some big titles right here and all of them are very, very big as you can see. So these titles are perfect for product videos or professional advertisement videos or maybe just for professional YouTube videos. There are also some kinetic titles as you can see right here. So these titles are changing in size and it looks very funny for me. You can get really creative with this. And I think these titles are very nice for YouTube videos and for lyric videos. Okay, so let's move on to the kinetic posters. So here you got 17 poster options and some of them look like this, but others look like this one. So it's very different from poster to poster. So I really like the poster options and the kind of idea for the poster, but I don't know for which type of videos we could use them. So maybe you can write something down in the comments for which type of videos you can use something like this. We also got some shape elements, as you can see right here. So most of the animations are very colorful and these type of elements can be used for music videos or maybe for YouTube videos and blogs or product videos. You also got some interface icons. So for the interface items, I think there are many use cases for YouTube videos and for vlogs. You also got some gradients, as you can see here. So over 40 different gradients are included. 
but I don't really need gradients, so <laughs> I move on to the callouts. And the callouts are very interesting because some of them include text, some of them include numbers, the animations are smooth and good looking. So I think these callouts are very interesting for you. And it's pretty simple, so I just drag and drop it into the timeline. And now you can change the position from this dot right here. And you can also change the position from this dot and from this dot. So go into the inspector, go to main settings, and here you can change point A. So you can point it to the coffee. You can change point B. So this type of adjustment is very intuitive and easy to understand. So it's very, very simple. And now you just have to track the item like I showed before. And there are over 70 different versions of this callout effect, so you can get really creative with this. Okay, now I want to check the infographics. And as you can see, most of them look very nice, very professional. You can use them for scientific YouTube videos or for just professional YouTube videos, I guess. So I really like this infographic. Maybe you can show here how much money you gained. This also looks very nice, so you got three circle animations. So I'm really impressed by this infographics. It looks very professional. They look all different, but I think all of them look good. So now let's move on to the text messages. So there are six different text messages from the left and six from the right. Okay, now what are devices? As you can see, you got 50 different options and most of them look like this. So I think you can use the device elements for different styles of videos, like for advertisement videos, for YouTube videos, or for product videos, review videos. And there are also some logo reveals elements, which can be used for YouTube videos and social media videos. So these are all elements, as you can see right here, over 16 different categories, over 2000 elements. And in addition to that, there are also some video transitions. So open the video transition box and go to Toko transitions. So here you find some flat transitions and you can drag and drop them into the timeline. And then you just have to increase the size of the transitions. So I usually take 2 seconds or 48 frames. So these transitions are mostly some liquid transitions. And yeah, I think you can also use them for product videos, for advertisement videos, or just simply for YouTube videos. Then there are some camera transitions, which can be seen right here. So you got 20 options. And these transitions are much more smoother. So you just drag and drop them right here. Also, don't forget to increase the frame rate. And then it looks like this. So these camera transitions are very smooth and very nice even for music videos or for vlogs, YouTube videos and so on and so on. And in addition to all these transitions and elements there are also some extra materials which can be found in the Toko graphics folder. So I double click this order and you can see we got here some glitch effects and sound effects. So let's go into the sound effects folder and here you got over 600 different sound effects from all different categories. You even got some sound effects for transitions, so that's very, very much. And I think for every transition and for every element, there is a fitting sound effect. So now we go to the glitch effects. And as you can see, there are some elements which can be used as overlays. So for example, I drag and drop this glitch element right here in the timeline. And then I go into the inspector, I go to composite and I change the composite mode from normal to add. And there are over 80 different glitch elements and overlays in this folder, so you have a wide choice. So these glitch elements are all colorful, but there's also a monochrome version of them. So you can use them for YouTube videos and product videos, but you can also use them for music videos, I think. And there are even more glitch elements and overlays right here, which you can use. So in conclusion, I think this graphics pack has a lot of elements, transitions and sound effects in it. This pack is very interesting for YouTube video editors, for advertisement editors, for product videos, and you can also use some elements for music videos. So if you are impressed and you want to buy this pack, then click the first link in the description. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.